is a problem that intellectuals have um, quite frequently is that they sort of, once they start reading difficult and rewarding stuff, they, they stop wanting to talk to regular people. And I think that contributes to the disconnect that you see between intellectuals and working class people and, and stuff like that. Part of the answer to that is that's what the universities were for. I mean, not everybody is equipped to or interested in engaging in high level discussion of abstract and creative ideas. You know, you hear this idea that everyone's creative. That's a lie. It's as straightforward as that. True creativity is very, very rare. And if you happen to be a creative person or if you happen to be someone who's profoundly interested in ideas, you are in a pronounced minority, just as you are if you happen to be extremely extroverted or extremely agreeable or extremely conscientious. These are minority issues, and what you do is you find like-minded people who are capable of engaging that. You know, heavyweight weightlifters compete with heavyweight weightlifters for a reason, and everyone thinks that's fine. And the same thing applies to intellectual and creative endeavors.